Hi, my friends, DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel, and welcome to a non gig log. So, lots of gig logs lately, but today I'm actually uh, I'm gonna show you something a little different. So, I'm sitting here prepping for this upcoming weekend's events, and I'm using Crate Hackers, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you guys the new Crate Hackers 3.0 that just officially launched. So, I've been a beta tester for a while now, so I'm pretty familiar with the new platform, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So, that's coming up next. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, uh, do a little screen grab. I got my uh, laptop down here in front of me, so I'm going to share my screen with you. So here is the new landing page for the Crate Hackers app. So it looks very similar to, I think it looks a lot like Serato. So you got your categories over here. You got your dark mode. You can turn that on and off if you want dark mode on, dark mode off. I leave dark mode on pretty much all the time. So you got that going for you. And then over here on the side, you're gonna have my crates, categories. You can go to all crates. So right now we're in all crates, but you can search through here click on all these different ones different options here if you go back to the all crates it's kind of the home page you got these four categories up top here you got folder flattener shazam to crates text importer spotify importer so the folder flattener what that's going to do is that's going to uh i did this a long time ago when i first started using crate hackers it's going to take your messy messed up music library and it's going to clean it up basically so if you've got if you've got music stored all over the place on your laptop you're going to use this folder flattener it's going to condense all of your music into one big folder it's going to make crate hackers easier to pull it's going to make it easier for crate hackers to pull your files and it's also going to make your it's going to make it easier for serato to pull your track information and things like that because it's going to be pulling from one folder rather than a bunch of subfolders and all that type of stuff i've actually never used this shazam to crate but the text importer I have used. So uh, shout out to Nick Spinelli. When that fool broke his leg, I bought a bunch of his crates and I actually used the text importer to import that information so I could download those crates after the fact. But glad his legs healed up and he's good to go. But yeah, there's some fire in his crates if you haven't purchased them. Uh, but anyway, uh, for the, the crate hackers part here, <clears throat> Spotify importer, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use that. So Spotify importer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Spotify. So this, I just, I use Vibo for my music planning portion. So what I do is uh, they select the songs in Vibo. I export from Vibo uh, to Spotify and create these playlists. So then I can take this and I click here, click share, copy link. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that directly into here, click go. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull and it's scanning my, my my music library to find all these all these different songs, right? So let's find something that I don't have. So promiscuous, that should work. There we go. So we got heavy hits, DMS. So uh, shout out to heavy hits and DMS for both sponsoring the channel. So let's see here. We'll go to DMS. Click DMS. There's a bunch of options here. Or a different version of promiscuous same thing here with heavy hits some options well, let's take this one this is a isaac jordan acapella out we'll click on that what it's going to do it's going to take you directly to that track we're going to click download download the clean version boom it's going to download it we're going to go back to create hackers we're going to hit add local file it's going to be right there so we have it right here we're going to click open and what it's gonna do is now, that song is showing right here as an option. So now we've got it. So when we go through, I'll show you how we do this next. So once we go through and select all that stuff and make sure we have all the song, all the correct versions that we want, we're gonna hit export crate and we're gonna export to Serato crate. So I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm not done going through this. I'm gonna continue to go through this some more, but we're gonna, we would export to Serato crate and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to generate that crate within Serato and it'll be right on the top of your list of Serato crates. 
So you can do the same thing with any of these pre-made crates that Crate Hackers has done for us. So like if we go to weddings, we do the same thing. You you know, cocktail crossover, you can click on that. It's gonna pull from my music. It's gonna tell me the songs that I have, the songs that I don't have. And same thing, I would just click export to crates and boom, it's gonna export it directly to Serato. So that's a super cool, awesome feature about Crate Hackers. But another cool feature that is brand new that I really wanna show and I'm super excited about is this right here. So I'm going to go to my crates I'm going to create a new crate. We're going to call it Crate Hackers Review. There we go. And we're going to go up here like this. We're going to search. So we're going to build out a crate. Let's start. Let's see. What's a song we could go with? Let's start with No Hands. So walk a flock of no hands. We're gonna click on no hands. There it is. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna add it to the Crate Hackers review crate. And it's added. And what it's gonna start doing now is it's gonna start giving me suggestions for songs to play, songs that are gonna go along great with walk a flock of no hands. So get it shorty. They say it goes along great. It's an exact match. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna click here. We're gonna add it to that playlist or that crate we're gonna click let's find some other ones what's another one here they think goes well with it diddy ass on the floor click on that one boom goes right into there higher by tayo cruz and uh, let's switch up the vibe say we want to switch up the vibe so we're gonna bring in some britney Add that. So now we've switched. We switched it up a little bit. Now we're gonna get the girls out there, right? Let's talk dirty to them. Do talk dirty. Add that. You guys get the point here. So basically, what it's gonna do is it's, it's gonna continue to give us options, and there's obviously more down here as well. But it's gonna continue to give us options or suggested songs that that they feel through their crazy magician AI. Um, that they feel go together based on energy, key, all that type of stuff. So then what we're gonna do is we'll go here to this Crate Hackers Review Crate. It's got all these songs. So any songs that we don't have. So we don't have this. Let's see if this is in any of the pools. It's only in late night. I'm not a, I'm not a late night subscriber, so we're not gonna do that one. How about Talk Dirty? Here we go. So DMS has got a bunch of versions of it. So uh, looks like I already have a couple versions, but let's download another one. Uh, let's just download this super short edit. So we'll go to DMS. We're gonna go. We're gonna find that super short edit right here. It's a Simo edit. We're gonna click that. We're gonna download it. We're gonna go back to Crate Hackers. Add local file. Right there it is. Open. Now it's generated. It's there. Now what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna export that crate. We're gonna export it to Serato. Boom, it's in Serato now. That freaking quick, like literally, movie magic right there. Boom, that quick. We're gonna open up Serato. And that crate is gonna be the very first crate in Serato when we open it. Right there, Crate Hackers Review. There's all of our songs already pulled, ready to go. So let's go back into Crate Hackers here. Go back into all crates, back to the home screens here. And uh, yeah, guys, let me stop sharing the screen here. And that's basically a walkthrough of the brand new Crate Hackers 3.0. Um, you know, the best way to reiterate this, guys, is I'm pretty certain if you watch this video all the way through, it's a no brainer that you should be using this tool. Uh, whether you're a beginner DJ, a veteran DJ, there's stuff in here for everybody. You know, me being a, what I would consider a veteran, you know, I, I thought I had all the, all the music that I needed and you know, it's just all about staying fresh, staying current and making it fun for us. You know, this is just a good tool to show me new music, new ways to mix songs, you know, the, the whole AI thing about how it, you know, can tell me what song goes great with another song. I've found some new just gems because of that tool. It's pretty pretty intense and uh, it's pretty crazy that it's doing that much of the work for us. Uh, I think it's a great great opportunity for you guys to just you know 
find some new tracks and that type of stuff and just stay more organized you know the, the the flattener you know be more efficient by the using the spotify importer that type of stuff you know it also integrates with simple so i actually am a simple user so uh if i if i were using simple for the music planning portion um i could actually i could import from simple and it would do the same thing you know as far as you know combining with or inter, intertwining with each other so I could do that, or if you're using DJ EP or whatever, you know, however you're getting your music from your clients, they can just send you Spotify playlists and you can use that Spotify importer to literally just import that stuff directly into your Crate Hackers app and then right into, right into Serato. So um, I think it's a no brainer. If you guys are interested in joining the Crate Hackers crew, I'll leave a link down below uh, for you guys can sign up. It's an affiliate link. Yes, I am affiliated with Crate Hackers, but I'm a lifelong member and I'm not going anywhere, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free. Leave me a comment down below. Shoot me a DM on Instagram or whatever. But I'm going to finish planning for these weddings for this weekend. And uh, as always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications to my upcoming videos. Peace.